Hi, I'm Jade from K.A. Parts. If you have broken the knob on the lever you used to tilt your head backwards with, then you'll need to replace the whole lever. In this video, I'll show you how to change the tilt assembly on your KitchenAid mixer. Ensure you unplug your mixer. Here are the tools you are going to need. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips PH2 screwdriver, a hammer, a drift punch, a mallet, needle nose pliers and a cradle. Start by removing the end cover. To do this, you'll need a screwdriver to unscrew the screw at the top of the end cover. Then lift the end cover off. Next, remove the trim band. To do this, you'll need to remove the two screws at the back of the mixer. Keep the screws together safely so that you don't lose them as you'll need them later when you put the trim band back on. Now remove the trim band by lifting it off the mixer carefully. Next, remove the drip ring. To do this, you'll need a screwdriver. Put the screwdriver into the gap and gently prise the drip ring off. Depending on how old your mixer is, this might be difficult due to food stuck underneath it. Next, you need to turn your mixer upside down and place it on a cradle. The mixer is very heavy, so be careful whilst you do this. Look into the base of the mixer and you'll see a hinge pin set screw. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the grab screw by placing the screwdriver into the slot and turning it a few times. Now use a drift punch and a hammer to remove the hinge pin. The hinge pin allows the tilt head mixer to move back easily. Place the drift punch under the hinge pin and carefully knock it out using the hammer. You may need someone to help you do this as you do not want your mixer to fall over or get damaged. Sometimes the hinge pin can be quite stiff. Keep tapping until the hinge pin comes all the way out. Now the head is separated, knock out the pin holding the planetary to the shaft. You will need a drift punch and a hammer. You may need someone to hold the mixer steady whilst you knock it out. This can be a tricky on some mixers if the pin is then misshapen over time. Next, to remove the planetary, you need two flathead screwdrivers. You will need to put them into the gaps either side of the planetary and just prise it up until it comes off. Be careful as this can be very greasy. The planetary should just pull off. You may need to wiggle it a bit as you pull. Next, remove the five special screws using a flathead screwdriver or a square head screwdriver if your mixer is fitted with square head screws. Then remove the four remaining screws attached to the lower gear case. The lower housing may simply lift off. If not, use two levers. Place them into the slots either side of the gear case housing and prise them up carefully until they come apart. Be careful as the two units will have a lot of grease inside them. Now you have separated the two parts of the mixer, you will see the gear case which has the tilt assembly attached to it. To remove the tilt head assembly, you'll need to unscrew the tiny screw on the side of the mixer, which is attaching the assembly to the mixer. Once this screw has been unscrewed, you will then need to unscrew the screw that is holding the tilt head lever in position. And this will be unscrewed with a Phillips PH2 screwdriver. The tilt head assembly should now all come out together. To replace this, you'll just need to put the new tilt head assembly in the same way as the old one came out and screw it back together. Now you need to put the gear case back onto the housing. 
This should just place on or fall into it. But if it doesn't, just jiggle the shaft until it's found where it's meant to sit properly. Then you can just remove the extra grease around the edges. Please be careful that no wires get trapped. Now you need to insert the five special screws and the four mounting screws, tightening them with the screwdriver. Now all the screws are in, you're going to put the planetary back on. To do this, you'll need to line up the holes first, as this will make it easier to slide on. Then you'll get a drift punch and put it through the hole of the planetary to make sure it is lined up with the shaft. Take the groove tip in and knock it back in using the drift punch and a hammer. The pin will go all the way through so that it is flush. Now put the drip ring back on. Place it into position and using a rubber mallet, just tap down on it to make sure it goes properly into place so that there are no gaps. Next, we reattach the pedestal. Place the pedestal back on the head and insert the hinge pin through the hole. You may need to use a mallet to knock it into position. Sometimes it can be fiddly to line it up properly. Lifting the pedestal a little will often help. Keep tapping the pin until it is flush and even on both sides. Next, you'll need to tighten the grub screw until it is tight. Now we are going to turn the mixer back upright to finish the last bits. We will now place the trim band back around the mixer and screw it back on. Then put the end cover on, making sure no wires are stuck or caught. Make sure it is fitted on properly and take the screw and screw it back in the top. We are now going to test the new tilt lever to make sure that it does the correct job. If you have any queries following this video or you've seen any parts you would like to order, please visit our website www.kaparts.co.uk. Thank you for watching.